Hey guys, it's the end of the year and we're in the game of the year week and in this week we're gonna start off with some discussions about various game topics and we're gonna rotate through uh, the people in our editorial staff and then for this first topic we're gonna talk about the good guy of the year and for that I invited our social media manager Vit and our intern Eric. So let's get started. It's been a good year for heroes. There's been a lot of uh, good stories and with a lot of main characters, but for you, who was the good guy of the year? Let's start off with Viet. Well, like you said, it's uh, it's been a very good year and there's a lot of people to choose from. Uh, but out of all the games that I played, I have to say that my good guy of the year, well, they're actually two people, but mm -hmm. you know, they can't really exist without one another. Uh, it's uh, Jacob and Evie Fry from Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I just feel they complement each other very well uh, they are really fitting to the story, and they were one of my favorite uh, antagonists of the year. Mm -hmm. What I prefer, uh, particularly like about Jacob and Evie is that they both have very different play styles. Yeah. So it's basically two ways to play the game, and you can choose whoever, right? Yeah, uh, in the beginning you won't really notice the difference between the two, because it, they're just getting introduced and you're it's the usual Assassin's Creed style where you have to just sneak in and try to sneak out or you can go all out if you want to. Mm -hmm. But as you develop those characters further, you'll notice that Evie and Jacob each have different types of gameplay. And J of course, Jacob prefers to battle it out and Evie prefers to be the stealthy assassin. Yeah. And um, yeah, it, 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 later on you'll also be able to uh, develop their abilities accordingly to what kind of things they like to do. Mm -hmm. So out of those two, who do you like better? Uh, I can't say I like someone better as a character, but in terms of playing wise, I like to play Eevee better because, well, A, she's more stealthy and I always like to try to see how it works. Mm -hmm. And B, also because it's nicer to stare at her than at Jacob when of you're course, playing. Of course, it goes with pretty much any action game or yeah. RPG. If you're going to spend 40 hours exactly. looking at the screen, <laughs> might as well be a, be a hot chick, right? Yeah, exactly. That's how oh, it is. Oh man, we're gonna get in so much trouble for that. Yeah. Um, Eric. Yeah. Your guy of the year or girl? My guy or girl of the year. It's it's difficult. I mean, um, you say it's a good year for, for for a hero or a guy or girl of the year. Uh, I I thought it was a pretty difficult uh, choice to make because of the fact that there are not many new franchises this year. So, uh, when you want to make a choice for this, um, yeah, you, you're looking for a new character. And mm -hmm. it was pretty hard to, uh, to find one. Uh, of course, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of a Wii U gamer, so uh, it, oh, was, it was hard to find mm -hmm. one. Yeah, so, uh, for uh -huh. me, it's uh, yeah, the Splatoon guys, the Squid Girl and Squid Boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really like them. They're, they're in in one way they're generic, but in the other way they're just uh, they, they connect to the crowd. Uh, Splatoon is just a fun game to play, and I don't know, it it, it just works like this. Uh, they're they're um, very uh, they're still customizable for a yeah, player, course. right? Of course, yeah. So they're uh, they work more as an avatar for you, but they still maintain a lot of personality. Exactly, that's right? that's what I'm trying to say. They're an avatar. They are an avatar, but. You, you can customize them just the way you like and yeah, it, it just feels good, it feels fun and mm -hmm. the fact that they can uh, transform to a squid, a cute squid. Now you're a kid, now you're a squid! Yeah. Exactly, it, it's ridiculously fun. Um, yeah, for me this is one of the highlights of the year and uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the first time in many, many years that Nintendo came up with a brand new IP, if I'm not mistaken, and they're like uh, the first new characters, uh, new Nintendo characters that weren't already part of a franchise like, you know, yeah, King Dead they got really popular over the past years and new characters got introduced in existing franchises like Rosalina and stuff, but mm -hmm. these kids, they're like completely new, a new IP, new characters and uh, yeah, I have to agree that's, uh, that's a good, pretty good thing, the, finally. This happens way too little at Nintendo's place. Uh, they, they, sometimes they have new characters, but like Dylan the Rolling Western, uh, that mm -hmm. guy, but it's, it was just a guy in a downloadable game. This is a really big franchise for them, at least I guess. So uh, yeah, I hope to hear uh, more of them soon mm -hmm. for the NX. Nice. For me, 
uh, you, you say that we didn't have that much to uh, pick from, but when I when I look at the releases, we had Halo 5, which introduced a new character, Locke. Was, you spent most of the time playing with him. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, The Order, uh, a whole new team of characters, and uh, and even in existing franchises like yeah. Assassin's Creed, new characters, like, like differently than the Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 2, spin-off with all the Ezio's, yeah. you know, constantly new characters, that's awesome. For me, uh, one of the new franchises this year was Until Dawn. Mm -hmm. and he had a, a cast of eight characters, but Mike, Mike was for me the protagonist of the game. You spend a lot of time with everyone else, but he is the guy you spend uh, a large chunk of the game with, and as long as he doesn't die in the beginning, uh, you get to play a lot of the game. So uh, he's also the jock of the whole crowd, and uh, you know he's, that means he's a little bit more athletic. He's he's more of the the character you used to playing action games. Now, uh, but in the end, his heart is in the right place, and he he is really the leader. And that for me makes him the the good guy of the year. Even though the story is very cliche, uh, he played the role very well. And I just hate how his actor is such an ass in Agents of Shield. Oh, who, who's the actor? He uh, Ward. Oh, Brett Dalton okay. was the likeliness for Mike. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah, Mike is my uh, good guy of the year. Yeah, okay. Although, depending on certain choices you make, you, know, you might not see... No, because say I, he's I, a I, was, good I, guy I was thinking, like, because, uh, of course, you also have the choice. Yeah, if you don't choose correctly, he's, he, can, he can die in the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. So, Len, it's just like, you know, um, if if you, I, I guess this is what one kind of game where you, uh, depending on what kind of choices you make, you might have different opinions about different characters. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess maybe your choice make you like Mike because you well, like Mike because you, <laughs> yeah, because you play you play him quite a lot. Yeah. and uh, yeah, because of the choices you make, he stayed alive until the end and exactly. things like that. See, if if it were for him, the like the second runner up for Until Dawn at least would probably be Sam, who we see here right now, and her magical towel because she spent a lot of times playing with her as well. So, yeah. you know, uh, they're both the, the more popular kind of characters. Yeah. Um, but in a horror game, you know, usually you play with a chick yeah. in horror games. So they both fill out the blanks for genres anyway. Yeah. All right, thank you guys. We're gonna hop on to the next topic and uh, let us know in the comments below what you think was your protagonist or good guy or main character of the year. Uh, I'm Tam2 signing off and we're going on to the next topic. Yeah.